Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's episode. I have the honor of having one of my really good friends, Priscilla Cornell from Bold and Gold Decor. Thank you so much for being on my podcast today. Oh, my God. Thank you for inviting me. It's such an honor. Oh, it's my honor, honestly. We've been friends Aww. since like the beginning, almost. Yes, we have. <laughs> it's been two hours, two years, I mean. Yeah, two years. And I just love your bold glam style. You hold nothing back. As you can see from behind in, in, in this video, it's, yeah, it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Thank you. And um, so we started about the similar time and what was, what, what made you decide to like start sharing your home and your decor on Instagram? Well, actually it was three Christmas ago okay. and it was through Renee. Oh, I found Renee, 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 I found Renee. Um, I think it was like around Christmas and you know, her house is gorgeous and her decor, it's like over the top. And I just started and I started following her, her story. It caught me a lot, her cancer story. My father just passed away from cancer and reading her and seeing how she pulled through, it just got me in a different connection with her. Mm -hmm. And she's so sweet and nice. And it just got me connected. And she starts explaining what she does, her, the influencer. And I started, so I met her, started following her on December, November, December. And I started my page July of two years ago yeah oh wow oh wow so really so she was your inspiration which is so yeah. funny because she's like today's podcast guest <laughs> really <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i know i know i discovered renee too early on and her home was amazing and i was like wow <laughs> yes it's amazing so and her you home guys, is amazing you guys have you you've met renee haven't you yes i have yeah i met renee i met renee actually um I think it's been a couple of times I met her already because I went to Texas through okay. to my collaboration with Maxim Lighting. Mm -hmm. So she went there and she picked me up. We went to lunch. I love like Renee. I literally, she's like, I love her. Yeah. I we really have a really good, nice friendship. We yeah. really do. She's always so sweet and willing to share and give and talk. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Very yes. good every time. So yeah, I actually got to meet her too um right before we moved back from texas so it was really late in the game but it was like it was the funnest afternoon we spent hours laughing and like i said in the previous interview with her we have a, a video we did together that no one's ever going to see because we could never get it together to publish it. <laughs> <laughs> but um anyway so um your your decor style once again stands out above all others we see it all over i've messaged you i see it people take your pictures from Instagram, companies use it in other places. I know that's been an issue, but it's because it's so beautiful. So what, really, where do you draw your inspiration from? So I can say that I always like different. For some reason, my dad, since I was a little girl, always, he will, oh, he would pick me up and drop me off at school. Mm -hmm. And he would just give me this daily speech of being different. She's like, there's, he will always say, you're always going to stand out if you're different. Don't ever be scared. Don't ever be afraid of who be who you are. You know, it's okay to be different. Mm -hmm. You know, if you won't be different, you won't be too able to stand out. And I feel like that has completely gotten in my core. And it's my personality because yeah. I am who I am. <laughs> and I feel like it's my style. I like bling. I like flashy. You know, I like it bold. I like it dark. I like it gold. It's just, I guess, also my personality. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning when I opened, I was a little scared because I was, I feel like I was, when I started, it was all farmhouse. I remember that. Yeah. And it was everything was champagne, silver, the glam that they had at that point, but also was all farmhouse. And I, nothing against them, but it, that was just not me. Mm -hmm. My personality, it's flashy. It is. Um, so I was like, I need to do something. And I remember when I started it, um, three days after I started my page, the gallery reached out to me and reposted my page. And immediately I got so many likes and it was, it was a, it was a beginning. Second, third day, it was definitely a beginning. And um, that opened a lot of doors. Then um, I was completely scared. Like I said before, I was scared because I knew that my style was not out there yet. It was very big in farmhouse and glamorous was only silver and champagne. Mm -hmm. So what I did, 
I start spray painting everything. <laughs> if you go back to my store, like on my feed, everything was spray paint because I wanted, I love, and besides that, I love the tacky gold. I know, <laughs> I know. I just love the bright <laughs> in your face. <laughs> Hi, I'm here. <laughs> Type of gold. So I needed to spray paint everything, decorations, and I will everything, it will be more like a DIY and little by little. And then after that, seeing that it was such a struggle to get the glam decor out, I started the glam movement hashtag. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. And I remember the glam movement hashtag. It's really what brought the glam, the gold. It was crazy. It's like it changed the whole decor world. I feel like after everybody, because I will we will get all the influencers involved, we'll get every four weeks, every every month, I will get new influencers and we will start sharing once a week a picture of the glam movement. And it, it was like a follow train, but it was more to get glam pictures out to the world. Yeah. And it was, you know, it was all of us. We did all the influencers and every influencer did it. And I feel like that helped us, the glam girls, come out. Mm -hmm. and the decoration I feel like it changed mm -hmm. because there were so many pictures like if you see the hashtag I've gotten so many pictures like it was like insane wow. and in my mind I was like I need to do something because I go to the store and there was nothing yeah there was really nothing so then I started with the dark I'm always wearing black mm -hmm. I'm always I love dark. I do not like bright I don't like light it's a constant battle with my mom because my mom will have my whole house white <laughs> and that is just not me. Yeah. <laughs> I love dark. And I remember two, um, it was probably a year and a half, two years ago that I put actually this wallpaper and mm -hmm. they were sending me so many DMs mm -hmm. because at that point, everything was bright. Everything was white. Everything was farmhouse. And the gray was just starting in to get there. And they were like, don't do that. Don't do black wallpaper. What are you doing? And I was like, it's okay. You know, if you guys don't like it, I understand, but I need to stay true to myself. You know, I feel like the best advice I can give to anybody, stay true to yourself because if you're not, you never will be happy or fulfilled. Right. And that's the reality. Sure. So did I take a chance? I did. Mm -hmm. I put, remember the wallpaper first. Then I started with my formal dining, adding black and I changed everything. And people were not really, I will say happy with it yet because it's like black, what are you doing with black wall? Like, that's crazy, black this. And I was like, it's who I am. You know, I love dark. Mm -hmm. If you will see me, I'm always in dark, <laughs> never bright. <laughs> so, and then I think I finally, what I did was it really came, it caused to me a lot of commotion was my wood wall. Mm -hmm. If you go down on my feed, I, it was like a all color wood when it just came out mm -hmm. and I hated it. Mm -hmm. I hated it because it was just not me and I remember painting it black and then I had the amount of DMs of people <laughs> saying that I was probably crazy that what am I doing why am I doing black and I said I don't know <laughs> like you know I feel like it's my house I'm sharing it with you guys but I feel like I need to be happy yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, remember I'm each, I remember each of these projects, by the way. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, I need to stay true to myself. Yeah. I need to be who I am. I can't yeah. be somebody who I'm not. So yeah. I need to stay true to myself. You love me. Yay. And if yeah. you don't, hopefully you get to know me. Yeah. But then after that, I started seeing so much black and so much black coming. And I was like, thank the Lord, because now I'm going to be the only one being pinpointed because of black. And then now black is a gray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a neutral. All black is a neutral. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It really is. I've been trying to get a black wall in this house for forever. I painted my doors black. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. Like now black is white and gray. Yeah. And I'm like, thank you. Like, yes, yes. Yeah. So that's yeah. really where it comes from. Yeah, I love it. I love, I love, I remember each one of those times when you did that, which is so funny. I remember each one of those stories. Like, <laughs> it's great. And I remember when you did it and I was like, black wall but I lived in an apartment so <laughs> I couldn't do it and I was I, scared I was scared because I only have eight foot ceilings which are very really small uh -huh. and I was like I don't care my mom will be like Priscilla what are you doing the house is gonna look small I'm like no it's not it's gonna look beautiful I love and, black <laughs> and, and it is it is beautiful absolutely so you brought up your collaboration with Maxim Lighting tell us how that came about that's so cool well, what happened was it's um, everything happened. I was probably 
I will say two months with my Instagram, two to three months, and I had 8,000 followers. And I reached out to them because either collaborations as a new influencer, that's what you got to do. Mm -hmm. So I reached out to them and they sent me, what chandelier was the first one? I think it was the bathroom one. Yeah, it was my bathroom one. They sent me one and then they loved it. They loved the commotion that it caused, you know, because my wolf, my my bathroom, it's like royal blue with gold, gold ceilings, you know. Yeah, it's out there. <laughs> <laughs> so it caught a little bit of commotion. And I remember that and then I reached out again to them because I was doing some other project. Don't recall. I think it was this, yeah. I don't remember what it was, but it was a different collaboration. And they saw how much in such a short time, how much a, I grew so mm -hmm. fast. And also they saw how much sales they got because of me posting it. Mm -hmm. And then they reached out to me saying that they wanted me to be a, the brand ambassador, like, like the face of the company. Yeah. And uh, they wanted me to go up down to Texas to the, to the, um, to the display room so I can just see and post it and all of that, which I was over the moon. I remember I could not believe it. Mm -hmm. Like I was like, I am dreaming. And then last year they came out with the majestic one. Mm -hmm. And when they, you know, when I, they brought me back over there to Texas and when I was there, he's like, we literally designed this one because of you. Cause I didn't have that much gold before. Mm -hmm. I remember the ones from my powder room, they're silver. Yeah. And what I did, like I do always, spray painted it and I spray painted it gold <laughs> because I love gold. Mm -hmm. So they didn't have at that point, they didn't have that many gold ones. They have more like champagne mm -hmm. and I wanted some gold, tacky gold. And right before that, we were talking about it and they said that I was, it wasn't, I inspired them to create something more bold, like not bold, but more like gold glamorous. Mm -hmm. And they use the gold leaf um, cladding and then the normal gold. Oh, wow. And that's how it all came out. Oh, that's awesome. I remember once again, you being in Texas and touring through the lighting showroom and all of that. So I was living vicariously through you because, you know, for all of us Instagrammers, we all know that the lighting is the jewelry in the home. It is. <laughs> it's the most important thing. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah, it can really make or break a room. Yes. It, it creates a whole vibe and you can yeah. really decorate around that or that's your inspiration piece. And so to get to see you like walk through their whole showroom was so much fun. It was amazing. <laughs> Talk to so many people. It opened a lot of doors. Like I said, it has been definitely a blessing. Oh, like great. there's been a lot of good things coming out of this. Oh, that's surprisingly, great. Yes. Yeah. And, um, all just you being you once again, like, you know, it goes back to just be who you are, put yourself out there as you are and be true to yourself. And yes. all these different things came of that. It is. Yeah, it is. You will, it may take a little time, but you're going to shine. Yeah. If you stay true to yourself, you're going to shine bright. Hmm. I love that. It's true. And you are so true to yourself. I love, um, good morning, my loves every morning. <laughs> Yes, good morning, my love. Yeah, it's my favorite. I just say good morning, but uh, or good morning, friends. But I love your good mornings also, and um, I look forward to it every morning. You doing your coffee and it's your gorgeous glam coffee station. Oh, so, thank you. Yeah, it's all who you are, and um, I can't wait for people to hear more about that. You are doing. I remember last year. I mean, your Christmases have been beautiful, but last year you blew me away with your table the gorgeous flowing. I mean, I think it was a showstopper on Instagram, how you did that. What like inspired you? Like, where did that come from? <laughs> Cause that, that was, came like, from, secret and like, bam. <laughs> well, what happened was like, I was actually planning my daughter's quinceanera at the same time. And I wanted to do one of her tables. I don't know if you have seen now that it's like a table and then you have this flower arrangement that drops in the floor. And I said, I need to create that for Christmas, mm -hmm. not with flowers. I need to, do, I, I think it will be, I haven't seen that out mm -hmm. with Christmas decor. And I was like, I need to do it. Mm -hmm. Didn't know what I was doing. No, there was, I tried to find DIYs to something similar, but there was nothing. And the flower arrangement is completely different because it's real flowers. Like it's, so I remember just being home and then just buying a bunch of ornaments, like a lot of them different sizes. And I'm gonna 
let me see how this, I'm going to, I'm going to see how this is going to work out. And I started little by little, you know, grabbing the garlands, making the shape of like small to big, mm -hmm. and then hot gluing, pour my fingers, <laughs> all the balls. And then I'm like, how am I going to drop it from the table? So it was like, it was a, like, it was a lot of thought. But it, it was, was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. I remember it stopped the Instagram. Yeah, it was something that I was like, I cannot believe I did this. <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And so since this airs, we're recording today, but can you give us a little, little maybe a little something on what you're going to come up for Christmas? It's going to be bold <laughs> and gold. <laughs> I'm different. I am scared this year, but it's like, what else can I do? So this year, it's one of the years that I am petrified completely Aww. because it's going to be different. Yeah. Like it's, I can, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be perceived because it's not your typical Christmas. It's not going to be your typical Christmas tree. Oh. Um, it's just not, I'm trying it once again, trying to be different, trying to break the, <laughs> I don't know that Christmas kind of, I don't know. I, I'm just trying to be, bring something different. Yeah. Never seen it either. I'm still going to play around to see how am I going to come out? Is that all in my mind? Yeah. Trying to, how I'm going to, I don't know. I really don't know, but I'm going to try. So uh, lately you've been doing a lot of really cool DIYs and uh, with glitter. And of course your signature style, it's gorgeous gold glam. You did the cup, you did, you've done. Um, so many fun things and so you, because you've done so many cool DIYs you've been asked to start selling your glitter is that correct yes <laughs> yes yes and it's been it's been interesting but yes actually there were some items they were already sold out at stores and then my cousin came from Ecuador and in Ecuador I'm from Ecuador and all their stuff over there it's extremely cheaper than here and she knew I was gonna do Christmas mm -hmm. so she bunch she brought me a lot of them mm -hmm. so when people will ask me oh I made it but it didn't look the same and I'm like I'm sorry it's like yeah. I don't even know what's it like I try to find them on Amazon to see nothing so I just there were so many DMs asking me and I said I'm just gonna start selling them and just fix this and everybody can be happy yeah so yeah it will it, you know I started selling them and it's you know it's 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 been really good so people can just DM you right now yes, and they can just send me DM. Up you and they get like a little surprise kit full of gorgeous glitter. <laughs> yes. And it's amazing because it's not only glitter, like it's not glitter. There's so much to like it. It chunky. has so much texture. Yeah. It's, it's like, chunky. It's not yeah. just glitter. Yeah. It's like so much texture. And I, I just love it. I love, love it too, it. because when, um, you know, I love glittery things too. And I'm like, I, you can't find that, whatever that mix is here. Just, I go through the glitter aisle too and you get fine glitter you get sequiny stuff it, it's just I haven't seen it before so once again you create your own signature of style by being you and that's what we love about you thank you <laughs> so um what are a few tips for um new new people who want to break into the home decor Instagram world or start their own Instagram page what are some tips I would definitely say stay true to yourself, be who you are and be consistent. Mm -hmm. I feel like being consistent, it's number one. It's not going to happen overnight. You got to be patient, but you have to be consistent. Like I literally stopped Instagram probably for eight months. I feel like I was not really involved because there was so much going on. The quinceanera got canceled, COVID and all of that, that I was like, this is way too much. I need a break. Mm -hmm. so and now finally I got it back to it mm -hmm. and you can see when you say consistent you see the growth mm -hmm. I literally stayed for probably six or seven months the same amount of followers mm -hmm. you know because I was not consistent I was not in I was not in stories I think I posted this whole year before I started back again with my DIYs probably five pictures a whole for eight months so it's not gonna happen overnight Yes, you need to be patient, but you have to be consistent. You need to trust the, the process. You need to take amazing pictures, be different, be who you are. Don't copy, be original. We have space for everybody. And don't, there, there's a lot of back and forth on Instagram. Don't do it. Stay true yeah. to yourself. There's space for everybody. Believe I, me, there is. I 100% I agree. Like, we're here to lift each other up. Yes. It's, it's nice to be... Um, 
I remember being a baby account, looking up to larger accounts and being inspired, but let's just say, be true to who you are. Don't yeah. copy. <laughs> you can be inspired. Well, not copy, but <laughs> you can get inspired. You can be inspired. <laughs> Stay original to who just, you are. You just want it. You just, you just want to be unique because yeah. that's what people are looking for. Because if you have something that you really seen it, then it's not going to really have the impact. Mm -hmm. That's why being unique, being different, be who you are. It may take time. Yes. People may not like it, you know, at the beginning, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But then with time, they're going to see it. You know how many times people have said, my God, your gold is so ugly at the beginning. Not now. Not everybody has it. But at the beginning, it was like, what are you doing? This attacking gold. And I'm like, yes, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, so, definitely true. Just be unique. And it's like I said, with me moving and all the transition, and I never thought I was going to be a renovation page. <laughs> and, you know, do, do I was like, you, you evolve, you have life and, you know, move through life and continue to be you. And I think that's, that's great advice for anyone who's being new. And I can say, after knowing you for two years, you're the same person, you're sweet, caring, kind, You've always been generous in DMs and, and sharing stuff and you are true to you. And I just want to say thank you so, so much for being on today. And I cherish your thank friendship you. and it's, it's been, it's been so much fun getting to yes. do even a little bit more today. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Seriously. Like it's been really been an honor to be here and I love you, Lisa. We've been like on this for two years already. Yeah. And it has been amazing. You know, we learn from each other. We inspire each other. We've been lifting each other, doing so many things together. It's an amazing, it's an amazing thing. It really is. And thank you. Thank you once again for saying yes and being on today. And have of course. a great rest of your day. And I can't wait for everyone to learn more about you and come to your page. And I cannot wait for your Christmas. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. Get ready. ready. I'm coming for all of I know you are. I know you are. I'm like, oh no, what am I going to do? <laughs> it's just different. It's just going to be different. It's going to be crazy. Like, I, I promise it. it's going to be crazy. I love it. I love it. I can't wait. All right. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Mwah.